On this episode, we tackle a rather heavy topic, but one that really needs to be talked about, mental health, uh, suicide rates in, in, our, in our industry, and then in the nursing profession. Atlas All Access starts now. Okay, I have a feeling this isn't going to be like a normal one, but I, I, uh, I, I think it needs to be, we need to talk about it. Definitely. Right. So with us today is Kendra. Kendra is HR generalist for Atlas and Allison, who's been on with us before, but a uh, recruiter at Atlas, who uh, when I sent an email out talking about that I wanted to do this in the first place, um, she was one that, that spoke up right away that uh, it had some, had some good information. So kind of what caused all of this or where this all sort of started, a couple different things happened. Um, and I like to read a lot, and that's that's one of the you know we, I started seeing more and more articles about this, and more and more people talking about it. Um, there was a study published last year that stated that out of the female population in 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 our country, that nurses are twenty three percent more likely to commit suicide than just a female in general than mm-hmm. you or than just a female, right? Mm-hmm. And that that one kind of struck me. I'm like. Oh man, like that's that's a lot, that's a lot right? Twenty three percent is a that's a big number. Yeah, and it, and I thought, okay, so what what can we do? Like, is there resources available? Right, we have a responsibility as a company to every employee, and that includes every nurse that we have working for us, and not just the female nurses. Obviously, I know male. We have a lot of male nurses, and you know, you're you're definitely not excluded from this. So. Um, I, as I read further, I, there were a couple things I clipped out and I'm just going to, I'm going to read them just because I think they're important. Um, the pressures of healthcare can be daunting, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the high speed inpatient setting, home health, shocking environments, and the nursing position puts people in between or puts the nurse in between healthcare and, and the patient, mm-hmm. right? I mean that the nurse is sandwiched in between care and, and the patient themselves. So the nurse profession is used to saying, how are you? No one says to the nurse, how are you? Mm-hmm. Right. 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 And I think when I read that, I, I thought, whoa, right. Mm-hmm. I, that, that, that made a difference. That was. It's an impactful it, statement. Absolutely. So without proper coping mechanisms, it, no support system, especially to our nurses on the road that are out there by themselves, they don't have anyone. They don't have anybody just to talk to, to vent to, right? To right. or or whatever. And generally, that's the recruiter. And we'll get into that a little bit. Mm-hmm. But without that, that daily workload can take its toll, and you may not realize it along the way, or you may not feel it until it's too late, mm-hmm. right? Until you don't know where to, where to do or where to go for that help. Mm -hmm. So I I think that brought me to uh, an email that uh, the CEO of Cisco, so Cisco has about 75,000 employees. The CEO of Cisco sent an email out, and we'll come back to this at the end, uh, back in June, but um, he sent an email out to all of his 75,000 employees, and he said, I'm going to step away from being a CEO for a second. I'm going to talk to you like a real person, all right? This is a big thing. Kate Spade, Anthony Bourdain, like these, this is real and this is happening and it shouldn't take two high profile stars to, for us to talk about it. Right. right? Mm-hmm. So it, it's, and so what, what's the responsibility of a company, especially us, Atlas, to every employee that we have mm-hmm. to, to talk about this kind of thing? So Kendra, I think from, from your standpoint, from an HR standpoint, mm-hmm. we have things in place. Correct. Talk about that a little bit. Right. So uh, for decades, um, companies have really recognized that the professional issues and um, the work issues and personal issues that um, employees have get brought into the workplace. Mm -hmm. And healthy, happy employees 
make healthy, happy companies. Sure. Um, and so there have been um, employee assistance programs, which is an EAP, which is what they're referred to, mm -hmm. in place for several, several, several years. Mm -hmm. um, and Atlas is no exception, um, but it's probably the most underutilized benefit. Uh, a lot of companies don't like to advertise that they have this available, which I don't know why, because right. it's a great benefit. Right. Um, so our EAP is provided by the standard, and our employees can get up to three counseling sessions with a professional um, at no cost to the employee. Now, these are these are people that have our, that carry our insurance, right? No, it's for everybody. For everybody. For everybody, yes. It's available to all the employees. It's not just the Blue Cross Blue Shield um, participants. Okay. So that's great because mm -hmm. if, if somebody's out there thinking that they can't utilize it, they need it, don't, don't ever hesitate to call them. Mm -hmm. um, if it's determined that there are more than three sessions that are needed, it, there is a cost associated with that, um, but the EAP will help you find the correct professional to help you best service your um, needs. Um, and then if you do participate in the Atlas Blue Cross Blue Shield medical plan, um, our uh, mental health services are covered under our plan, but the majority of mental health issues, I mean, the majority of health insurance plans do cover the do mental cover health that. issues. That's yeah. true. Right. <laughs> so the service is available 24 seven and it's available um, by phone, live chat, um, even text messaging. Mm -hmm. So there's also a large resource library that anyone can access. You don't have to register um, in order to access these resources. There's articles about suicide and mm -hmm suicide prevention and how to talk to someone who may be feeling that way. Um, there's also, they cover topics that aren't just related to mental health. Um, they cover personal and work relationships, addictions, financial guidance, um, physical health, and they also can help with parenting questions. Mm. So the services are completely confidential. So again, if you're feeling like there's no way I'm going to utilize this because Atlas will know who you know that I'm using it and why what I've discussed is completely confidential. So we don't get any reports about who has utilized the plan, nor do we receive any information about why they're utilizing the plan. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, if you want to get more information about the EAP, um, it's going to be out on our ADP homepage, mm -hmm. um, but you can visit it at um, workhealthlife.com. Um, and if you need to take advantage of the benefit, um, please reach out by calling them. It's 888-293-6948. Um, you will be assigned a client care representative, and then they will walk you through the process in order to get you on the correct path for healing. Gotcha. So one step further then, in addition to that, like, and, and, Everybody, you guys all know, if you've been with us for any amount of time, you can call any of yes. us, right? And so you could, if you have specific questions about, you know, does this apply or whatever, Kendra's available. Mm -hmm. And if Absolutely. you, you want to call me first, that's totally fine. And yep. I'll get you to her and, yep. you know, we'll do what we got to do. Yep. Email is fine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You bet. Mm -hmm. So it, You're right. It is hard to talk about. And it, that's it's one of those things, like, it should be harder to talk about, like, look, I eat like <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. And, and so my cholesterol is bad. <laughs> right. But and and I can control that, but I don't. Yes. Right. But I, I have I you know in general there's I have a mental illness. There's something that you know or whatever that mm -hmm. I need help with, but then I don't want to talk about it right. because it's embarrassing. Right. What's more embarrassing is I eat a lot of French fries <laughs> and my cholesterol is right. bad. <laughs> right. But it's just that's just society. But it's right. It's socially acceptable right. to complain about your health. Of course. Physical yeah. health. Physical health, not mental, mental health. health, not so much. Nope. <laughs> right. Nope. And that that is that's a sad, sad yeah. tale of our society. And I you guess. would think in two thousand and nineteen that wouldn't be the case, but it totally right. is. It is. So yeah. Allison, from a recruiter standpoint, then what is what is the recruiter's role in this? I mean, you mean you're the you're the first line of defense. You're their advocate, right? Mm -hmm. So where does that start with you? Some nurses, when they're talking to their recruiter, you know, obviously there's this um, time where we're still getting to know each other. Even if, you know, you're placed and you're about to start an assignment or you started an assignment, and sometimes it can feel kind of awkward or you feel alone, like, okay, gosh, I'm in the middle of North Dakota. I don't know anybody. Uh, the only person I have is my recruiter. And, you know, some nurses may feel really uncomfortable or feel like they don't have a genuine connection yet with their recruiter. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, 
it's really, really important to remember that at the end of the day, we care about you, you know, money aside or whatever it is. The most important part about this is that you're our employee and we care about you and your well-being and your health Mm -hmm. at, you know, that's the most important thing. Right. And your safety. Right. That's what we care about. And I don't. I wouldn't want any of my nurses, and I'm sure no recruiter would want any of their nurses to feel like they couldn't call them up and just say, I'm having a rough day and I need need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I think there's that judgment. People are so afraid of being judged, and our nurses need to know that we don't judge them. I mean, there's we're going through a lot of the same stuff that you do, Mm -hmm. and we wouldn't want to be judged as well. Mm -hmm. So it's important that they keep that in mind that we want want to hear from you Mm -hmm. if you're struggling, for sure. And it can feel really isolating to be on the road, away mm-hmm. from family, away mm-hmm. from friends, away from old coworkers. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's important to to remember, you know, even old coworkers or past connections. Those are people right. that you can definitely still reach out to if you mm-hmm. don't feel like you want to talk to your, your mm-hmm. recruiter. Mm-hmm. And my guess is going to be, and we demonize and villainize Facebook a lot, right? I mean, mm-hmm. just society in general does, mm-hmm. no matter how much we all love it and use it. You're probably connected with those old employees, you know, through Facebook. It's okay. Like, it's okay. If anything, they're going through the same stuff that you're going through, right? They understand. They get it. Right. Uh, Now, you did a little bit of research, too, on just in general. Let's say say you're not at the place where you want to utilize the employee assistance program or whatever. What What other resources are just available out there to everyone? Definitely. So... The first one that came to mind for me is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, um, and that's 1-800-273-TALK, T-A-L-K, or 8255, and that's available 24-7. Um, you can call that, obviously, at any any time and talk to somebody live, and I think that is a great resource, um, you know, for kind of like immediate relief for your, if you're in a moment, maybe it's, you know, 4 a.m. and you're on your lunch break on your on your night shift and you are just having, you know, a, a moment and you need to talk to somebody. Right. That's a great thing. And there are hotlines, you know, the, the Boys Town hotline, obviously mm-hmm. it's based here. So we're familiar, but mm-hmm. every state has their own hotlines. A lot of different counties and cities have hotlines mm-hmm. and those are great. If you, you know, want to talk to a live person, um, in the moment. Um, another thing that I personally utilize and a lot of people, um, a lot of my friends utilize Mm -hmm. are um, like apps for anxiety. Mm -hmm. So um, one of them is Headspace. It's like a guided meditation, um, as is uh, the Calm app. And I know that you talked about that too. That one's an awesome app. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I've used Headspace here. Like I've just been like, you know, there was one morning where I was just anxious about um, a, a placement falling through and I was like, I need to step away. And I just went into the back office, put on my guided meditation, and I just like chilled out for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it totally helped. And I feel like um, especially nurses or other healthcare professionals, you know, they're running around, literally running around, taking care (laughs) of other people. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be a really stressful situation and it's a long day, 12 hours. And if you get the opportunity to at least step away, it can be really rejuvenating and calming because... You get the opportunity to like come back to earth a little yeah. bit. Refocus. So it doesn't yeah. have to be you're standing on the ledge, right? I mean, right. it's Mm-mm. it's. Mm-mm. I just need a second. Yep. So there's something for I just need a second to, mm-hmm. you know, all the way to that to that. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I need to call somebody. Right. Mm-hmm. Type of type and, of place. And those are more of like um, a reaction measures, mm-hmm. whereas there are a lot of preventative measures you mm-hmm. have to. Mm-hmm. There's um, online therapy that you can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Talk Space is one, and you get an assessment. You get set up with a counselor, and then you can text them or you can video chat with them, and you can do that at any time, um, wherever you are. And you can get you can stay with that same therapist no matter where you go in the country, and you have the opportunity to kind of journal. Um, in the app, and you can text them or you can call them. So there's a lot of a lot of great resources. Being in the age of technology, mm. there's a lot of things available to people all over the country at any time. Yep, mm-hmm. and we'll put links obviously to all of these mm-hmm. here at in 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 the uh, in the comments section. Uh, mm-hmm. So 
lastly, I want to I want to circle back to that email that Chuck Robbins, the CEO of Cisco, sent out because I think there are three <laughs> things that that he outlined that that made an impact on me that kind of that brought this to this point for us. One, start the conversation. Right. One of his employees afterwards, they talked to his employees afterwards and after this all went public, obviously, I don't think he meant for it to go public. Obviously, mm -hmm. it did um, was I'd never received an email like that before. I didn't realize anybody like that cared in a company of 75,000 employees. Huge. I didn't realize, you know, Mr. Guy at the top cared. Mm -hmm. And so that opened a door. Right. Mm -hmm. So and so that's it. So start the conversation. And I hope this. Us doing this right now starts the conversation. Right. I want to do that's. I want that to have the same impact. To take action, I think that if, if if anything, if you have thought from from the just the very small to the to the very dramatic, right to the very large, if you've ever thought that yeah, I don't have that help, maybe this will help spur you into action, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This will give you that opportunity to take that step. And even if it's just looking at one of the apps that you mentioned, right? Even yeah. if it's just in, investigating the EAP that yeah. we have, that type of thing, just take some action. There's there's resources to help you. Mm -hmm. And then finally, follow through. Um, don't just download an app on your phone and then put it on the last page or whatever, <laughs> like I end up doing with some stuff, right? <laughs> follow through. So I... It, it, at the end of his email, he talked about a few things. And one of the things he said was, you begin, when you talk about things like this, you begin to build a culture that treats people like people, a culture that teaches us that a struggling person is not strange or weak or broken or flawed, just human. Hmm. And I think that's important. Very important. I think there's, there's something to that. And if as a company you can talk about that openly, there's a lot of companies where you can't, mm -hmm. where you're just a number mm -hmm. and that's right. not us. Right. So I, I, I want this to be the point where we start and maybe it helps mm -hmm. maybe somewhere down the road. So Kendra and Allison, thank you so much. That's, uh, I appreciate it. Like I said, we're going to put links to all of this stuff below, right? Mm -hmm. Every bit of what we talked about, I'm going to put below. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, you know my, I'm out there every day, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can contact me. I'm, I'm available. Um, Kendra's available. Yeah. Your recruiter is available. If, if Alan's is not your recruiter. Or call me. There you go. <laughs> you can still call her. Yeah. Or if you're looking for a recruiter, I guess. There you go. Yeah. This is definitely not a recruiting piece. but We can if have you, some chats. If you have questions. And yes. if it's, I love my recruiter, but... I just want to know more about Headspace, right? Yeah. There yeah. you go. Allison's available for you. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, it's not easy to talk about. It's no. not, uh, <laughs> like I said, it's a, it's a heavy topic, but mm -hmm. I think it needs to be talked about. So thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll thank you. you.